Greetings YouTube, this is Anthony and welcome to Springfield, Illinois. As you see behind me, we're in Springfield, Illinois, fighting for our education and keeping our college free for getting shut down by budget cuts. Here we are, it's a month of April and yet Illinois has to pass a budget and the way I understand it, we're the only state in Illinois, the only state in the United States has made it through this far without a budget and I think the crisis is beginning ridiculous. As you look behind me, take a minute, hang on a minute, and turn around. Capitol is right there. Yep, that's right. There it is. The Capitol building is right behind me, guys. So in this short interview, we are going to sit back and prepare for the meeting. I will break pictures as much as possible, but I will need permission. Oh, if you're wondering, that's someone trying to say hi. I see how you're doing. Well, at this point, we're all just sitting there waiting to see what we're supposed to do. Hopefully, security it won't be an issue with security. So, I hope we stay tuned for the latest updates. And I might bring some videos as long as there's no issue with security. The state cap, Illinois state cap, is right behind me. Please stay tuned. Hello again. Sorry about that, guys. It was just cut out. I just cut out for a man. A friend wanted to say hi. So anyway, right now it's 10:25 in the morning in Springfield, and it's still Central Central Daylight Time, surprisingly. So in a few, in like in the next hour or so, like I was mentioning before. We're going to go into the Capitol building and see what kind of things we need to sort out so that way everybody, so when we walk out of here, everything will go smoothly as planned. This is my, I don't know, this is nerve wracking, but this is my first time shooting outside of East St. Louis. And I don't rarely see this much very often. See the Capitol building. This is where Governor Ranner lives and his fellow men and women of bio officers. So, anyway, this is Springfield, Illinois. This is the state Capitol building right behind me. Let's look around, see what kind of time we can get. Take pictures of it like again, security lights me. So anyway, without further ado, I will switch it off and then I'm doing my blog from there. But anyway, I do want to make sure that security and I were friends. As long as they had allowed me to film, there should be no issue. I hope there isn't. I do promise I want to bring you guys excitement from the state capitol building. Again, this is my first time filming outside of Springfield, outside of East St. Louis. Normally I film in my own house, but in a couple of weeks, I am going to come up with a topic. We're going to do a topic called, I'm pretty sure you guys had a list. We're watching the last video I uploaded about why do we need government. So what's the government about? I always wanted to do that to you guys. Well, here we are in Springfield. I'm with team with Swick. Swick, Southern Illinois, Southwestern Illinois College. And I'm here to, with them. They're right there. I don't want to film them. Because otherwise, they, it will make me rise to a problem later. So... Anyway, this is the state capitol building right behind me, guys. So be prepared. So if you do come in here and you think they're gonna let you pass, you're sadly mistaken. Be prepared. You will, your bags and stuff will be searched. 
when you enter this building, you will have everything will be searched from head to toe, and they will go through this, and they will, you will end up going through this metal detector. Reason why I said that, because I had been here seven years ago with my agency to fight for our budget cuts and make sure we didn't lose any. And it turns around, we kind of lost the battle. It was kind of disappointing. So here we are again, but this time it's for my education and I'm trying to fight for it. And keep my education protected and make sure it doesn't get taken away by the state. So with that said, you have any questions? If you have any questions that you guys want to talk about, more comments, comment in the below the description on the bottom. Let me see what time it is. It's almost 10.30, it's 10.30 here. And we our event doesn't start until 11. So 11.30, like another hour. So this is what we're here for, but this is a good cause. So guys, I am back again. This is Springfield, Illinois. And if you can hear what's going on, normally I'm showing my face on there, but right now I am using my phone to audio record. I don't, my iPad's on the phone in the van right now. So this is why wow, I could budge. And with this being said, this is what, and with this being said, we got every, if you see over there in the corner, we have our presentation ready to go for adult Banks again, and that's 11.30, guys. And over here, that's the, the secretary office. I only been here twice out of the year. And this is what the state capital is about. Find if you continue to fight for what's right, then there should be no issues. Look at the scenery. Again, guys, I apologize for this. Normally, we'll film. But right now, all my equipment's outside, my iPad's outside, so this is all I can manage. So, hopefully, you need to understand. And I'll probably get this out by later tonight or sometime at the end of this week. So, again, here we are. This is the state capital of Springfield. Illinois is welcoming the world in the boggy. It's so fascinating. And if you guys are wondering why I'm at, I am trying to keep my fam down so there won't be no issues. So I hope there, I hope you guys understand because this could be trouble. Keep it down. try to edit this for you guys as quick as possible so you guys just gonna have to bear with me 
If you can hear my voice, what's going on right now, it's too noisy and I can't even hear what they're saying the most of the time. Like some is getting around all set up for the tour. And I'll pick you guys back up later tonight, later this evening. If you guys carry me good, that'll be great. Normally I'll look around. That's the other entrance right there. Like I was saying earlier before we walk in the building. If you have a metal if you have anything on you Please be prepared to get searched. Please be prepared. And we will pick it up and I will pick it up in two hours. Hey guys, Anthony, uh, I think the tour is about to get ready to be on the way, so please stay tuned. Again, I'm going to keep this hidden. And if you can see my face, I'm going to look forward to again in like an hour, 30 minutes, so our tour is going to get ready to get started. So please, alright, the tour is starting, so I'm about to keep this down. Guys, you heard me. This is a tour of the second floor of the State Capitol building. Yeah, guys, if you can hear any commotion, we're taking stairs right now. I'm not hearing what they're saying. So, 99 million miles to go. Hopefully, guys, this should be the last floor. I don't know, my legs are tired too, guys. But I know I can handle it. I live for it. Just everyone in your group? Yeah. I just waiting in one more. Right there. Alright guys, we're just going to get ready to go in the Capitol building, so please stay tuned in the Senate Gallery, in about a couple minutes, I'm already tired, walking on three flights of stairs, this guy is wow.
see my face. Dude. All right, we're heading in now. No, I think we're waiting on school. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Santa Gallery, guys. And here, this is where we have to be quiet and listen to what they have to say. But, you see, a couple months ago, I just got to see my boss. He works down here in his office, too. Jason and John McCain, Corn President. I don't understand why. <laughs> this is where the excitement is way green to. I can tell you guys later tonight I will edit this or later this week. Probably edit it in and give it a few days. And then we'll go from here. But this does promise information as much as possible. And I do get paid for it still.
I do got pictures. I'm just gonna keep this on um, most responsible. I might upload it later tonight, or I might pick it up later if I have any storage space. I may end up at the delete sign, guys, because of this. downstairs again. So I know some people here are tired for right now. I'm gonna keep this bottom floor loaded as possible. Or no we're not. This is Santa Community Green 409. Yeah, I see this is Illinois. Illinois, I want to say, in here several years ago. guys hear about the question of this is the House of Representatives. And this is the tour. So we're going to give you guys a lot of view one more time, guys. And I hope to upload this again. I'll try to upload this later tonight or sometime next week. And hopefully I'll add this out to you guys. You guys see what they're doing down there? All right, we're gonna go again.
keep ready to catch the animator because some are probably about tired of walking up the stairs.
guys, so I'm back again. I have to pick it back up because we're um, running out of space. Hopefully, I have enough to finish the tour off. And then we'll go from there. back up because the story is great and I gotta make it last. I'm going on with my group and uh, we'll meet you guys downstairs or whatever we're doing here.
Guys, as we're waiting, I'm gonna go to the one we can go down and see what they got planned for us. And I'm gonna put this video on hold there and meet you guys down there. I'll take the restroom. Alright guys, we just about finished the tour of the state capital. And we're going to get our van and we'll pick it up later on. I guess. Hey guys, this is Anthony again. I apologize earlier. I didn't know the rules here. And I did get searched earlier by security guards there so again if you br brought something in the mail be prepared to be searched because I mentioned a video earlier so as I mentioned a video earlier we are about to go back in the capitol building this is only going to be a, like like a few minutes I guess I know if I was supposed to bring this but I've seen everybody had brought their items in their iPad so I'm just going to bring mine in and see what about Hopefully I'll provide you guys some clear some clearage along as storage says anything otherwise. Right now I'm in Illinois State Capitol again, fighting for our budget, fighting for our school. 
our college apparently because if we don't have this hopefully they'll have this funded by july 1st and not it's all gonna get shut down because thanks to politics and their rightful awarded masters they think they're on the bottom baby by us yeah uh, I'm eating a sandwich right now. It's lunchtime. So. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the blog for right now. And I'm probably going to bring this in with me and see what happens. I got a question. What, what does the speech got to do anything with you? Then I walk up in my swing. There's some college kids back there playing music right now. So, I'm a college person myself, so, you know, it's just I'm trying to wait for the right moment to make our move against the state. And let them know we need business. So if you guys want to comment about this, please make sure you comment with the appropriate comments and no worries back. So, let me bring this in with me and see what happens. Alright, when this is all done, I'll meet you guys back inside. I'll probably have my phone on me still. Let's make sure I have everything inside. Thank you very much, Jeff. We have four more student speakers. The first one is Cedric, followed by Catavino and Kelsa, Diana, and Ginger. Let's welcome them, please. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, here you go. Hi, my name is Jesse Wilson. I'm 19 years old. I attended Swiss College as a student for six weeks. And during the six weeks, I've learned the mind is a powerful tool we utilize every day. We use our mind to create dreams and later our dreams become goals. It takes dedication and hard work to achieve a goal. It takes standards and hard work to become a success. Without knowledge, we can't do nothing, nothing at all. You see, they, they try, they try to take schools from us. They try to take schools from us. Oh no, excuse me, I didn't know what I wanted to do this really. I chose to come here. I chose to give a speech today. I really didn't have to. I didn't have to. How many of you, how many of you know a little help goes a long way? Sweet, sweet is a little, sweet is considered a little help. Without sweet, well without knowledge, we, we won't be able to do nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing is possible without knowledge. Right. <laughs> y'all, I started off in Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi. I made it, I went through, me going through high school, I find it was a struggle. Me trying to work a job, attend school every day on a day-to-day -day basis. When I, when I stopped going to school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had talent. I had talent. I had plenty of talent. I know how to dance. I know how to draw. I just didn't have a sense of direction. I didn't know which way to go. When, when I came to Swift, when the first time I rode to Swift College, I was doubting. See, doubt. Doubt kills a dream as fast as you can make one.
There, we have a lot of neg negativity around us on a day-to-day -day basis. And everywhere you go, you run into someone negative. Someone telling you you can't do this. Someone telling you you can't do that. See, the thing about knowledge, when you earn knowledge, can't no one take it away from you. When you have knowledge, can no one take that away from you. Good afternoon, everybody. And Senator and representative. My name is Catarino. I am excited to be here in the capital. Let you know how my life has changed little by little. I've been taking the English class in Harper College, Palatine. Because it was so very difficult for me to communicate with others. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. Now I can do myself for example, in my yard, and help my children and homework, and it's not easy, but I try little by little. Hope you understand and like my channel. I'm gonna finish up the video and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. S E T link in the description of the video. And I hope we get to keep it frigid. Have a nice day guys and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for the party and I hope you have a nice day. Again, this is from Springfield. My storage is almost empty, so I'm gonna finish it off. Thanks guys. And don't have a nice day, and don't forget to keep it frigid.